Is he barricading the door? Ah! Hello friends and welcome to part number two of Fairs to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. <laughs> I just forgot what it's called. I'm sorry I didn't finish in the first part. I had to go to work so I didn't have the time to finish it up. I would want to do it uh, in one part. But we are going to finish it tonight. So without further ado, let's continue. I think now is when all the horror really begins. When we are left alone in the house without that landlord or the owner of the house. But I think we start. Good yeah. evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB. We are starting. Town station, bringing you the best tunes to oh, come on. Hearts on this oh, Jesus. As we embrace so I will cut the season, away from all this to like where we... To set the mood. So to where we started last time make you feel right at home. or where we Here ended we so guys this is where we ended the last episode so I have cut to this point so you don't have to go through all this again we had to take out the drive back to here and go through uh, you know where he's showing us the whole apartment alrighty folks snow starting to pick up I'm gonna hit the road now gotta find that damn cat well, thanks for showing us around, creepy guy. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha, Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Okay, creepy guy. Get the hell out of here. So this is exactly where we ended last time. Is it just me? Or is that dude super weird? Well, he's super duper effing weird. <laughs> Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> what a weird guy, yeah no shit. So the shower was upstairs, right? Oh, that's <laughs> just him watching the TV. Yeah. The shower in here? Oh, that was the deck, right? Here it is. Let's have a nice warm shower that feels like a effing waterfall. For sure. The shower door was open. Ah, okay. Let's close it then. Cheers in coffee. Right then. Now I'm pretty sure all the good stuff is gonna happen, you know? All the horror stuff. Okay. Let's go to downstairs. See what our friend is doing. I don't hear the TV anymore though. Did he go to bed? Oh! He's gone fishing? Isn't in the middle of the night? <laughs> hey Harp. Check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know. It's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? Well, I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed. So we can both give it a shot. Okay. Are you sure you didn't take a shit in the shed? Then I won't go in there. Do you wanna grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Well, where is it? I hear it. Oh, yeah. And some bait? Oh snap. 
I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Hell yeah! Count me in. Well, first things first. We need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait. Information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. You're going to catch some carp harp. Ha! <laughs> ha! You funny him you funny man! Please don't make rhymes with my name. <laughs> so what's the carp? Does it matter? He said I don't think it matters, huh? What's this sweet corn? Golden lure? I don't know what we need. I'm not sure it matters, you know? We'll just take this one. I guess it's the correct one since he's leaving. <laughs> Come on, Harp. It's this way. So is this a fishing simulator now? I was expecting a horror game, you know? <laughs> I guess this is all, you know, built up to it. Here's the creek. I hope those carp are biting today. Well, I hope so too. So there's really a fishing mechanic in this game. Left mouse button to cast. There we go. Do we then reel it in or something? Oh, no. Did he get one? No, he's casting again. Oh, I think we got one. Hey, how do A and D to move the slider, okay. Oi! Hey, this, this is pretty hard. Yeah, that was a base. That's not what we need. We need carbs, man. It was too far to cast to. Oh. Damn it. Uh, did we just hit the ground on the other side? <laughs> okay, let's not cast that far then. We're playing a having fishing simulator now. Is it because I got the wrong bait or something? Is that it? It's a base. I don't need a bass. I hate to break it to you, Harp, but the carp aren't going to be interested in that bait. God damn it. So I have to go and change bait? Oh, come on. What's the correct bait then? He said there was an information board. I didn't see an information board. Ah, here it is. Okay, I see. Uh, that's pike and perch and base. So difficult to read, you know? Does that say common carp? Cheese delight, common carp as well. Okay, let's take the cheese. Here's the cheese. Oh. Can I... Ah, we have baited it. Good. Let's bring it with us. So we don't have to run back if... You know, if we need to put more bait on. Can we just throw it here? Yep. Let's do this again. Make sure we get some carbs this time. <laughs> but I think this also catches perk and pike. Oh, we got one. Oh, this meter is much smaller this time with the slider. Come on here. Yeah, we got a carp. Keep it. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Did I say that? 
Right mouse button to put on hook. Here we go. Aren't you catching any? Do I have to catch them all? Gotta catch them all. Oh, no. Okay, now the slide there's bigger. Does that mean that this is not a carp? God damn it. A blue gill. Well, I really didn't think this was it's gonna be a part of the game. So it's not really a hardcore horror game, I suppose. Well, now we have a small slider again. Hopefully it's a carp then. Yep. Two down, one to go. Why the hell aren't you catching any? It's all on us. To catch the carps. You suck, man, at fishing. Oh no. I don't think this is a carp since the slider is this big. Ah, oh, this. Awesome. All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. I don't want to be fishing and waste time fishing. You know? <laughs> I want some horror. Can we just throw the rod here? Yep. Come on, run, dude. Okay, we got some ominous music going on. Right? Let's close this door. Just so we don't think later that someone else opened it. <laughs> While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Do I have to remember all of that? What was the, the first thing? Ah, here we go. Needed to show the ingredients Mike mentioned for the marinade. Uh, ginger, that was the thing, right? Yep. What do we have here? Italian seasoning. Yep, there we go. Rich taste, paprika. There we go. Uh, anything else? Extra virgin oil. Can we put in some cornflakes? Oh, do we have frozen yogurt? Here we go. Then we need salt and black pepper. That should not be in here though, right? Can we open any of these? No? What the hell's the salt and pepper? Ah, here it is. Some salt. And some pfeffer. Marinade's all done. Can we get the horror going, please? <laughs> Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these wedges? I'm on it. Uh, two carbs, marinade and wedges. I have to add the fish first, okay. Uh, can I just throw this? <laughs> Where the hell did you put the fish? Ah, oh, here they are. I'll take only one at a time. My hands were full. Okay, not marinate. And then we need the wedgies. Now could you add the wedgies on it? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400? Hopefully that's Fahrenheit, right? 
definitely not Celsius. I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, put it in the oven. Here we go. Then we just wait 30 minutes. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Ah, room next to the living room? Yeah, they were upstairs, right? I think I saw some games upstairs. Or was it downstairs? I probably was downstairs, right? So that's where the living room is. Duh. Ah, in here, of course. What do we have here? Tower stack? Oh, that's awesome game. Low tower stack. You wanna play this one, Mike? Ah, tower stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I played this. Yeah, me too. Totally. It's been a long time for me too. Okay, let's see how st steady those hands are. Is this a mini game for this as well? I guess it is. But now we're ready, Harp. Let's start. Well, do we just start from the top? Hold A. Okay, we can lean right and left. Oh shit. Drag left mouse button to draw the loop. Okay. Oh. Almost effed up there. Yay! How hard is it to take the, the top one? Smooth moves, Harp. Okay, so next we are not taking the top because, you no, know, we have to ruin it for him, right? That one was close, huh? I have to choose one first. Let's do, I don't know, this one. Because I don't know, why not? This is a really slow paced horror game, you know. Damn Harp, do you practice this in your free time? Of course I do. You know, they call me the Tower Whisperer. Alrighty then. Good for you. I don't know, just, just take one. There we go. Damn Harp, do you practice this in free time? I already told you, I am. Come on, why is this part of the game? This. Is... I want to get to the horror part, you know? I'm more into, you know, a little more fast paced horror games. Making this game look effortless. Well, I guess it would just make it the more epic when it actually... When we actually get to the horror part. You want to do this one? Yeah, just please make it fall. <laughs> so we can get on with it. You're a pro harp. Oh shit. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh snap. Didn't expect it to fall like that. Are you ready for another round? I think that's enough for today. Yep. That was a fun game, harp. You did really well. Well, thanks, Mike. Alright, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Can I open this? Okay. There we 
we go. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Hopefully it's a horror show. So we get some horror in this game. Come on, man. We had to catch that show on the TV while we ate. Well, turn on the TV, please. Do I have to... Go up and turn on TV? Come here. This delicacy is very popular in Romania. Is that our show? mayonnaise <laughs> flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water pot. Nom, 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 so nom, first, nom. we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season okay. these with... A lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. Look at that face. <laughs> After letting these simmer what kind in the of a show is this? Bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Cocoa uh, beans? Yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy What a weird ass cooking show, you know? In there. The next thing we prepare I was done is the mayonnaise. Harp? We stir fry that was some damn fine food. Twice as good Irish since we caught the fish ourselves. Food. Yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna lie. Fish always tastes best this is gonna when taste you caught like it yourself. You know? but it was really good. You are anyway, we make a great team, Harp. Hey, anyways. I need mayonnaise. to check my emails real quick. We, Left we my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. Sure it it's not work. Us. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. What's a DS? After doing that, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll clean up here. Place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, can we can turn this off? So noisy. <laughs> There's a meter for dishwashing as well. Let's see if we can see anything happen outside the window or something. Surely the horror elements must begin start soon, yeah? What do we do now? Oh. Text message from Michael J. Carter. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Someone under Mike's bed. And he's scared and wants me to come upstairs. You scared, Mike? You little scaredy pants? This is bedroom. Walk slow. Don't make sounds. Walk slow. The TV's on in here. Where was his room? Here? Okay, let's walk very slowly. Oh, that was the... Where the hell's Mike? Mike? You in here? Is he trying to scare us? <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes, he is. God damn it! Gotcha, I was a little ready for that. What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. The hell, you didn't? That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I count to ten. Oh, where the hell do we want to hide? The basement? Yeah, decide to hide in the basement. Okay. She already made the decision for us. <laughs> so this is where that old woman that lived here before died. Like the landowner said. Can we hide in here? No. Decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. 
Oh, this is Harry Potter's house. That was stupid. Haha, <laughs> I got you. God damn it. I thought it was open, you know? That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never found you the city. Maybe I need to look harder. <clears throat> Alright, my turn to hide now. Better close your eyes and start counting. God damn it. So I was sure this it looked like it this was open, you know? Close your eyes. Okay. One. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. So where do you suppose... Mike is hiding? Mikey, you in here? You taking my shit? Nope. You in here, dude? Nope. Hey, Mikey. Where are you? Did he go out to the shed? Is he upstairs? Hello? Let's turn on the TV. TV. Turn off the TV. But who the hell turned it on? Has it been on all the, the whole time? Ah. I see you, Mikey. Haha. <laughs> Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Well, we are upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, shame on me. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Where? In here? So you're gone out so I can open it? Are you a pussy? Couldn't reach it without the step stool. I hear this. Hello? Is there a raccoon up here? Do you have some light? So he's just staying down there and have, having us to check it out. What the hell, Mike? Scared pants? Oh, it is a raccoon. Where is it? That was a cat. Hey, kitty. You alright, girl or boy? Mm, yeah, good cat. Good kitty. Oh, you scared the shit out of Mike. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Isn't that Cartman? Bad kitty. <laughs> it's just a cat, Mike. The hell, dude? Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It's just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Do you really have to? More hide and seek? What are we five? Decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Okay. Let's go to the shed then. That's also pretty horrifying, you know? <laughs> I 
And where you where do you want to hide in here? Oh. You just want to stand here like like so? Can't go up here. Oh let's close this. Turn off the lights. Oh, he's coming. Or is it Mike? Shuffling around out there. Now we don't have the voice meter, so we can talk loudly if we want, I suppose. <laughs> Hello. Aha. There you are. Damn harp. Took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing? It's worth doing well. My turn. Oh, come on. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me, and we'll go to bed. God damn it. Space to close our eyes, right? Ah, have to count. Here we go. Let's get this over with. Like Mike is a pussy ass child. See in the basement. There's some knocking somewhere. Hello? Where's it coming from? Stopped. Hello? Definitely heard some knocking, you know? You in here, Mike? No. You in here again? On the attic? knocking again ah! what the hell are you doing in here dude what's going on what happened oh yeah he said he was going to fix the sink right well hey there why the hell are you here again fixing the faucet got a problem with that should have told us but miss this is my house I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something? Well, you rented it to us. I never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. Never fixed many faucets yourself, young man. <laughs> Didn't think so, so I'd imagine you don't know what your tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got there a couple of minutes ago. You heard anything before? That it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> hey, that old lady that died in the basement? Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You're asking me to leave, miss? Well, yeah. No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and we would like to have it to ourselves. I, we, don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? <laughs> I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. Well, we rented this place. We need our privacy, dude. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Well, thank you. What the hell, man? Creep meter is about 10 now. Oh, 
Mitä helää hi? The f if is wrong with you, you don't go just go into a house that you rented out, right? I know here it's in Denmark, it is illegal for a landlord. After locking the door, we debated what to do. It's very illegal for a landlord just to enter your rented apartment, you know. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. Oh shit. Seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, <laughs> but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Maybe. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. As I decided to get some rest. 11.39pm Hello? Who's knocking at this time at night? Is that you, Mike? Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Uh, sure. Can you turn on the lights? No? Please don't tell me you like me again. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the drive. He's such a pussy, man. Oh, yeah, Nora. Where the hell's Nora? I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Yeah, you? <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, it's no problem at all, guys. Are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Well, he does own the place. Know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You also been a little difficult to deal with. <laughs> You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It will help if we both get some sleep. In separate rooms, Mike. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Mike, get the hell out of here. We're just friends, okay? Harp, you know. I miss this. Us, just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Get the hell out of here! What now? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good idea. What did the text say? It's Nora. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire miles? just blew out. It's snowing and I'm That's on the far. side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. What an annoying There's a voice. There's sign by the side of the road. <laughs> it's hard to see. I, I think it says 
Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Oh, damn it. We have to drive 70 miles to get her? What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mag. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Come on, Mag. Stop it. So we are going to be left alone? We'll finish talking about this later. No, we are not. Get some good rest and stay warm. I'm not an answer to that. Let's get, let's go to sleep. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Okay. You don't want that dude to come back. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself. All right. Lock all the doors. You sound just like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kinda need one right now. Let's just give him a hug. No? Through the door. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Now let's get the hell to bed. No? And now we are alone in the cabin. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 AM Someone ring? Hello? That can't be them back already, yeah? They had to drive like 70 miles one way. Hello? I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Who is it? Okay, just that's the same thing. Uh, what the hell do we do? Is it that landlord again? I can't open the door, it just says the same thing here. do we do? Where do we go? It was freezing cold outside. I was supposed to go outside? I don't know. Nope. What the hell do we do? Do we hide? Hello? Please don't come in. Can't see who it is. Don't come in, please. Do we just go back up to bed? <laughs> Almost at the front door, I know. But we can't open the door then, right? Someone's at the front door. And Where do we even turn on the lights here? What 
you want me to do? I can't open, you know? No? I can't open the door. What am I supposed to do? Or go? Do we go hide down here? Something? I'm not talking, so why is that meter going? Ballistic? am I supposed to do? The knocking stopped. No, it's still there. What the hell are we supposed to do? Do we write someone? No? No clue. What the hell do you want me to do? Game? Oh, maybe. Hello? The realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrifying. Well, no shit. Who is it? That's not... Oh, is that that hiker? Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends. But they are running behind and won't be here for about two hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks. But I was hoping you'd let me wait inside. No. Until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? No. You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make it go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still a bitch. Unkind. Okay. Please, just leave, or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. What the hell is this guy doing here? Yeah, just leave, please. Well, let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Are you threatening me? Karma's a bitch, my friend. Get the hell out of here. Go to someone else's house, you know. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Can we, can we just go back to sleep now then? Hopefully Mike and Nora will be here soon. Hello? What the hell's going on out there? Hello? The 
Did someone just throw a snowball at my window? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Let's text Rick. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared. I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? No answer. Is Rick in on this? Someone walking inside the house? Or is that us? That's me making this is okay. I hear someone walking out in the snow outside. Go away, please. Oh. Oh, that's Rick. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. I guess this was a bad idea. Letting Rick in, right? What the hell is going on here? Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. Explain the situation. Yeah, came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. What did you do to him? Still didn't feel safe opening the door. Huh? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here, right now? Huh? Yeah, but my friend will be back soon. Well, is he holding a hammer? Still, in his hand? Where are you going, Rick? Ah, oh, he's cold, okay. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. How is Rick messaging us? He's standing right in front of us. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Holy crap! This ain't Rick! Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah. I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's real, okay? No. Nope. Nope, you need to leave. You need to leave. Right now. What did you just say? I told you to leave. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house... It will be one of us. Yeah, it's gonna be you. Is he barricading the door? Did we just die? Did we do something wrong?
So I know we are supposed to survive, no? Oh, do we have to go through all this again? We we'll just race through this. I'll come in and warm your hands, yeah? Again. I don't know if any of these this matters, you know, what we answer. What the hell do we do? Do we run? Out the back door, maybe? When he goes barricading the door? So who the hell is this guy, man? It's not Rick. <laughs> you can go now, please. Can I go this way, please? <laughs> How the hell do we do we survive this? Come on, do we have to go through all this again? What do we do? Guys. Oh, come on. Hey, blah 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 What the hell do we do? Do we just wait and see what he does? Or what? What's he doing? He's not barricading the door. What's... What the hell is he doing? Okay. Oh! Okay. I guess we will have to go hide somewhere or something. I need your help, guys. I need... I need you. To tell me what we are supposed to do in the comments and then we will make one last video with the ending of the game so it'll be a three parts i'm sorry for that but i'll need your guys help so if you like the video if you like horror games you'll come to the right channel because that's all we focus on on this channel thank you all for watching until next time bye bye